Good old joint practices. Oh, they are a nice way to really see where your team is at at this point of the offseason because instead of just going up against each other like you're used to doing, you're going up against a completely new set of people, a new team, a different team, different players with a different attitude and a different cultures as well uh, and that can make things very interesting and it was no different uh when the ravens got together with the commanders um because they had joint practices for a couple of days this week and something that happens in a lot of these joint practices not just with baltimore and washington but really around the league is fights fights and they featured plenty of fights uh, and there was no shortage of people telling others hey teacher man had a squabble and Mark Andrews, <laughs> I don't think anybody got to teach him nothing because Mark Andrews, he was certainly involved. Not, you know what? I can't even call it a fight because Mark Andrews literally, I think he saw Rob Gronkowski. He was like, Rob Gronkowski, he, Gronk done did some work in WWE before. You know what? Let me put my tape out there. So in the future, when I retire from football, I got another job sitting there waiting for me. But you know what? I can show you better than I can tell you. Watch this. So you see how with Mark Andrews, like, that's why I couldn't even call it a fight. Because Mark Andrews literally picked the guy up, slammed him, and started walking away. Like, it, like it was nothing, man. But Mark Andrews, like, he has definitely um, had some frustrating moments uh, in this training camp. That being one of them. Because apparently he, he caught the ball. I don't know if he fumbled it. The ball got, like, knocked out or something. And, you know, like, I, I guess it's a thing with tight ends where if they make a catch – and somebody punches the ball out of their hands, they get really upset. Because remember the video of Travis Kelsey? Travis Kelsey, the same, same exact thing, and he went swinging on the cornerback or safety, whoever it was. Y'all remember that? That was just from maybe a couple weeks ago. So this is not uncommon. Uh, but with Mark Andrews, he has uh, had some frustrating moments, and that was definitely one of them. Another one was he was upset at Lamar Jackson the other day uh, because I think they said Lamar Jackson threw a, a touchdown to Nelson Aguilar uh, But Mark Andrews He was wide open He was open Now hey When you think about it Especially us as fans oh, Hey this is a touchdown Let's go Let's get it baby Come on man Let's make it happen We did it But Mark Andrews In, in that moment In that heat of the moment He's thinking hey It should have been me But it is what it is um, And they said that he, he walked off And he left practice uh, And he just went to the sideline For the rest of that practice But Jeff Zrebeck did clear it up and said it hasn't been a shortage of passes or receptions by Mark Andrews in training camp. And he said Mark Andrews probably had the most passes thrown his way. It caught the most balls this training camp uh, out of everybody. So, yeah, he, he's still getting his fair share. And, and even this season, uh, I would still expect him to get uh, his fair share of passes thrown his way. Now, um, pro football talk. Uh, they reported about this body slam that Mark Andrews did, uh, and it wasn't the prettiest uh, result. So um, they reported that with Mark Andrews, the, the slam, the slam her around the world, uh, it actually caused an injury. Uh, let's read the report. He said, Commander's cornerback Danny Johnson suffered a rotator cuff injury when he was slammed to the ground by Ravens tight end Mark Andrews after the play during a joint practice. So, oof. That's rough. That's rough. And I, I see a lot of uh, Commanders fans and whatnot and just people in general have uh, had some animosity towards Mark Andrews for that. Um, and I can see why. I, I, I can see why. Uh, because a lot of times when you need to or want to see the other side or try to get a better feel or understanding for the other side of where people are coming from, just try to put yourself in their shoes. And I know because they're, they're going to be some Ravens. I guarantee it they're going to be some Ravens fans. Oh, it's no big deal. Oh, it ain't nothing. No, it's just a little practice fight. It's whatever. But I guarantee, I promise you, if this would have been the roles were reversed and a Washington Commanders player slammed a Ravens player and that Ravens player got hurt, Ravens fans, who right, only right, the Ravens fans who were saying, oh, it ain't no big deal, I guarantee you it would be a big deal. They would be very upset And I, I get it Because like joint practices Are for finding out how good Or bad your football team is Currently um, And fights are something that 
comes with the territory, uh, unfortunately. Um, but you, you never want injuries, especially from fights, to come. Because injuries during a game is going gonna, gonna to happen. Somebody's going to get hit the wrong way. Somebody's going to land the wrong way. Even there's, unfortunately, some non-contact injuries. But with the physicality of football, injuries are going to happen. But you would hope that they don't come from people fighting. Um, and unfortunately for this Washington Commanders player, it did. And they did. And you know what? I was thinking about it yesterday. Um, and especially, like, during all the fights and stuff, I was thinking, uh, I know the Ravens because he came back to practice uh, yesterday. But it had me thinking, like, I, I, this is why the Ravens were probably holding out Ronnie Stanley. This is why they were holding out, holding him out of joint practices because coincidentally, they were like, oh, Ronnie Stanley not practicing. Oh, oh okay. And John Harbaugh was like, oh, no, we're we just trying to protect his ankle. They weren't trying to protect his ankle, but they were really trying to protect him from Washington injuring him. That's what they were really doing. They were like, oh, no, Ronnie Stanley done been through enough in his career. We ain't taking no chances. We ain't taking no kinds of risks. Ronnie Stanley, you, you just chill for the next couple of days. You just stay home and play some FIFA or something like that. You, you take it easy. Uh, because again, they know the history's there, and they don't want history to repeat itself. So they kept him far, far away uh, from the Washington commanders. But anyway, um, I, uh, I, I do wonder. Like if this and pro football talk mentioned this, if this could possibly start leading to there being fines or there being even possible suspensions uh, if there's fights at practices, especially not even just fights at practices, but fights that end up leading to injuries, which you obviously hope never happens. But in this case, it happened. So. Just something to think about. But Mark Andrews, I'm sure he will uh, start channeling all that frustration uh, and turn it into a positive season that he won't be frustrated with. Anyway, Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you do not miss not one single video. appreciate y'all watching as always. Leave a like on the video if you haven't already. And, and oh, and thank you for 68,000 subscribers. It's, it's, we officially at 68,000, so I appreciate y'all a lot because that is 68,000 people that are extremely crazy. I don't know why y'all subscribe to this channel, but the fact that you did means y'all are just as crazy as me. I love you. I appreciate you. And we out.